Now, on May 17, 2004, Massachusetts was the first state to legalize same-sex marriages. Since May 17, 2004, nine other states have followed. Connecticut, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, Washington, and on May 3rd, 2013, Rhode Island. Now, when the governor signed this into law, then he got a big applause from the people that were assembled behind him. Glorifying the work of the devil. The Bible, the word of God, is clear. Make no mistake about this. There's no gray area. There's no room for debate. One church organization spent millions of dollars trying to figure out whether or not homosexuality is a sin or not. You could have, you could have donated that millions of dollars to this uh, TV station. We could have saved you all kinds of time and research. The Bible was clear in the book of Romans that it is an abomination, man laying with man and women with women. And God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Why do you think that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Because of the sin of homosexuality. God has not changed. He's the same today, and he'll be the same tomorrow. It is sin. And I didn't say that God doesn't love homosexuals, but the love of God does not keep you from going to hell. If the love of God kept us out of hell, nobody would go to hell. But you've got to be born again. You've got to make a change. You've got to come to Jesus. It's by the blood of Jesus that we are saved. And when you get saved, you will get delivered from the sin of homosexuality. I'm going to tell you one thing today. God has sent me to tell you that it is sin. It is wrong. I don't care what the government says. The blind leading the blind, they all will fall over into the ditch. It's time for people to get right and stay right. I have witnessed to multiple people that are homosexuals. And I've had the great privilege by the power of God to see people delivered from that devil of homosexuality. That same Jesus that set them free will set you free today if you will believe. Hallelujah. The government... America's reached the point of no return. The government, in August, on August, in the month of August, the 13th, approved, and I think it was 2010, 8 13, 2010. It's called the morning after pill, or Plan B. First place, there shouldn't be a plan A or B. God has already said that sex outside of marriage is sin. And I'm talking about Adam and Eve type marriages, not Adam and Steve. Are you with me? God has already commanded male and female. God has a plan. His plan works. If God didn't have that plan, me and you wouldn't be here today. You ever think about that? <laughs> 17 and older can go to the drugstore, local pharmacy. It's not even behind the counter. It's right out, out front and buy the morning after pill, which is nothing but a pill that if, if a lady got pregnant the night before, she can take this pill within three or four days. I think it's three to five and it will abort that pregnancy. Oh, 
Now they'll tell you that this pill is not an abortion pill, and I'm going to look this camera right in the eye and tell you and everybody else that's listening, that is a lie from hell. It is an abortion pill. And then on May the 2nd, 2013, they approved, Brother Jimmy, that now 15-year-olds, 15, they lowered it two years, 15 and older, can go and buy this Plan B, a morning after pill. And if they're out and they happen, they think they're pregnant, they can go and buy this pill within three to five days and this pill will take care of what they perceive to be a problem. But it is nothing but abortion. This is why I'm telling you. Who's ever heard of such a thing? 